All right, listen to this. Indiana State Police say Indiana ranks 22nd in the country in the amount of human trafficking cases. And with Super Bowl 55 getting underway this weekend, police say it's important you stay on high alert. News 10's Portia Williams talked with the survivor. She shared a little bit of how she's taken what was done to her to help others. I talked with the Terre Haute woman named Rebecca. She's a human trafficking survivor. We won't share her last name for her safety concerns. She says she was trafficked right here in Terre Haute several years ago. She tells me that when most people think of being trafficked, it's by a stranger. But as Rebecca shares, the predator is usually someone you know. I was trafficked um, when I was in my 20s for a little over um, two and a half years, um, simply by a man that I believe cared about me. Um, and it took about 14 years after I had gotten away from him that I was able to self-identify and um, realize that what had happened to me was effectively considered trafficking. She says one of the common misconceptions about this crime is that it's not happening where you are. A lot of people think it's just a, a third world country problem when in truth it is happening all over um, the United States, in the suburbs, in the big cities, the inner cities. Um, it's not just happening overseas. Kate Kimmer is the director of Anti-Trafficking Initiative in Indianapolis. She says she's been working with the traffic victims for 12 years. She believes the problem is not getting better. I never had a client die, and last year I had my first client die. So it was a tough year. It was a tough year for all of us in this work, and it was a tough year for survivors. Meanwhile, Rebecca has started a nonprofit geared toward men and women who have found themselves in the position she was in. If you have concerns, there's a national trafficking hotline you can call for help. That important telephone number is 1-888-373-7888.